Now for the final part of the lesson, how do writers show, not tell? So let's get back into that Pear Deck to get this thing done so you can enjoy the weekend. Take a look at slide five of the Pear Deck. This is some information about how authors show, don't tell. And if you click on this image, it's a link to a YouTube video. And this man gives some really good examples of how an author can show what's happening instead of just telling. So if we took a light look at that top one there, you know, the man was stressed. Okay, so what? How about the man was fidgeting and biting his nails? That's showing us the stress that he's feeling. And this little chart here is in your digital writer's notebook. And so I will print some copies of that for those of you who are using a paper notebook so that you can put those in there. Please make sure you watch this video and then you're going to do, oops, then remember this slide again, how she changed it from the rodent from was curious and she did the first example I read earlier and then this one, the rodent's head was stuck in a bag. So seeing this rodent's head stuck in a bag is a way of showing its curiosity. Then you're going to do a little bit of practice on this slide. So you're going to pick one of these four telling statements. Michael was afraid of the dark. I walked through the forest. It was already fall and it was getting and I was getting cold. Parker was sitting in class hungry and bored or Mrs. Smith was mad. Just take one of those and turn it into a showing statement. You don't have to do anything more than just one of them. Then if you have the energy, then go back to your draft again and just pick one place in your draft where you told something and revise it to show. If you've had enough for the day, that's fine. You can work on it on Monday because we are going to have a writer's workshop where we'll have a lot of time to do some catching up. I hope you have a great weekend, people.